Number nine, the height of the Washington Monument is measured to be 170 meters on a day when the temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. What will its height be on a day when the temperature falls to negative 10 degrees Celsius? Although the monument is made of limestone, assume that its thermal coefficient of expansion is the same as marbles. All right. So basically, an uh, interesting property for materials is that as temperature changes, right, the length of those items will also change. Now, the change might be insignificant, although they do change by some amount. So in order to find the change in length, essentially, right, they're talking about height, that's equivalent to a change in length, we would use this change in length formula over here on the right-hand side. And it says that the change in length of a particular object will be equal to that object's thermal coefficient of expansion multiplied by the initial length here. I'm going to write a little L sub I and then multiplied by the change in temperature. All right. Now they're not asking us for the change, what's the change in height. They're asking us what the final height will be. So all I really need to do is kind of just, now you don't see a final height in here, right? But if you pick apart this change in length, always remember that every change value is a final value minus an initial value. So this change in length is equivalent to this. And that should then be equal to, right, alpha times L sub I minus the change in temperature. And that will also be the final temperature. So let me write T sub F minus the initial. All right. So now I'm after this, right? That's the final length. So what I need to do is somehow combine my initial lengths algebraically. So I want to add this on over to the left, uh, excuse me, right hand side. So when I do so, we get a value like we get an equation that looks like this. The final length will be equal to alpha Li times Tf minus Ti plus then Li. Now you can, you know, factor these Li's out and create a simple equation. I'm just going to leave it, okay? So here we have the final length will be equal to the coefficient of thermal expansion for marble. So I think that's about 7 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay, yeah, that you can look up. The initial length was about 170, they told us. The final temperature is now going to be negative 10 degrees, uh, minus than the initial, which is a positive 35. Great, and then plus then the initial length of 170. So just plug it on in. So we get seven times 10 to the minus six, times 170, times then negative 10, minus 35, and then add to that now 170. So here we have a value now approximately of 169.95 or so. Right, if we had to think about rounding or whatever, we would basically round to 170. So it's essentially, I mean, it, ba it, barely, it barely changes, right? So this would be the final height, okay? It's so close to the original height that doesn't really make a difference. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.